Hey everyone, welcome back. So in today's video, we will learn about AI capabilities in Power Platform. I will show you what all different features available in Power Platform for you to build an AI enabled app or flow. So in this particular video, I will show you how you can use those capabilities and build an invoice solution in Power Platform. So stay tuned. Once you log into your make.powerautomate.com or make.powerapps.com, uh, what all different capabilities or features are available that we can use to build the AI enabled apps or flow. So we're going to talk about Power Automate, but it is very similar in Power Apps as well. So once you log into your Power Automate and you're going to click on the more on the left hand side, you can see there is something called AI Hub. Once you click on that, then it will show you all the different feature sets. Those are available for us to use in our apps or in flow. Mainly there is three. You can use prompts, you can use AI models, or you can use document automation. Prompts, if you click, there are multiple templates are available from Microsoft that we can start using in any of our flow. And if I go back and click on AI models, these are the pre-built or custom models. Those are available for us to use, like extracting information from a document or extracting information from the invoice, extracting information from a receipt. In this video, we're gonna focus on AI model and on particular, we're gonna focus on invoice model. Okay, so what we are trying to build today. So I want to build a system where I can receive the invoice. I should be able to just drag and drop that invoice to my SharePoint folder, and then Power Automate should automatically extract that information, the information that I need from the invoice, and save it back into the SharePoint. So this is my sample uh, SharePoint folder where I have already created library called invoices. This is a document library where I am going to drag and drop my invoices. And as you can see here, I also created the different columns that I want the information from this invoice to be saved on, okay? So I have invoice number, amount due, invoice date, due date, tax amount, and different addresses and name. These are the information that I want from these invoices. When you build it, make sure that you are creating the column for which you want to extract information from this invoice. I also have another list called invoice detail. In this, particular list is going to store the different line item information. So as you know, if I show you any invoice, the invoice has the main information and then also have a line item information about different items that is being invoiced for. So that list is created and how this list is connected to the my main invoice list by lookup. So I have this column called parent invoice and this column is nothing but a lookup type column that is looking up to my invoice document library and ID column. Very simple, straightforward lookup column. Okay, so this is a simple setup. Now what I want, if I drag an invoice here, then my flow that is I'm gonna show you how to create should trigger, extract the information from this invoice and update this invoice that I just uploaded, tag all this metadata that is there and also the invoice detail. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, I uploaded this invoice and all the information from this invoice has been extracted. Perfect, right? Now, of course, I can make changes. I can review if this invoice information has been extracted correctly or not, but it's very quick. I can upload more than one and the flow will trigger. So let's go back and build this one. So I'm gonna go back to my Power Automate. We're gonna click Create and click Automated Cloud Flow. Okay, I'm going to skip for now. We're gonna update the trigger. And I just switched back to the classic interface. And here we're gonna search for SharePoint and when a file created, property only. Because what we want, whenever file created in that document library, this flow should trigger. We're gonna select the site address, the library name. Now the next step. So this uh, trigger, as you can see, it's only giving us the property. But to make the invoice extraction work, we need the content of that file. So what we can do, we can extract the content. So get file content. Okay, so get file content in SharePoint, there is an action, select that. We're gonna provide the site address again. And in file identifier, if you look your trigger, and if you scroll down, there is a property called identifier. Use that. Do not use the ID, you need to use identifier. Okay, so this action will give us the file content. Now next, now we are going to use the AI capability. So where we can find all the AI capabilities under AI Builder. So once I'm gonna select the AI Builder, 
and if I search for invoice, there is a pre-built model called extract information from invoice. Now, before I select that, let me talk about few things that you should know. Okay, so now if you look at the information about the invoice processing pre-built model in Microsoft documentation, they are claiming that they're going to extract all these properties from the invoice. Now, not necessary that each invoice is going to have all this information, but what they are trying to see or what Microsoft is saying here, that they have trained this model to extract this information from the invoice if invoice has this information. Now, let's take an example that you are trying to extract information from an invoice and your invoice are very unique. Some of the information that you are trying to extract from those invoice does not include it here. In that case, it's better to use the custom model and what you can do with this, with this model, you can provide your sample invoices so this model can train itself for that particular document. It can be different invoices that you are trying to extract. This model is not only for invoices, so you can use this model for any other document type that you are trying to get information from. Now we will go back to our Power Automate flow. We're going to select the pre-built model. And then it's going to ask about the invoice file. That is our file content that we just added. Now, only these three steps is going to give us the information out from the invoice. But we want to also update the properties, right? So we're going to go to SharePoint again. And here we're going to say update file properties. Select site address, library name, and ID is the ID of our file for which this flow is running. Okay, now as soon as you select all this information, you can see all the different fields that we have in our SharePoint library available here. So only thing we need to do, we need to start just mapping them. So title and make sure you are picking information from your AI builder or extract information from invoice action. So I'm going to search for invoice. And title I'm giving here is the invoice ID. Now you can give whatever title you want to give. For uniqueness, I'm giving invoice ID. Invoice number is also invoice ID. Okay, amount due. And you will find all these information here easily. Then we have invoice date. Okay, so I'm gonna use the date. Then we have the due date. Okay, now you can also create a lot of conditional formulas here. Like for example, not every invoice is gonna have due date. So you can create a formula saying that if the due date is empty, then use the invoice date, otherwise use the due date. Okay, so something like this. So here what I'm what I'm saying, if the output of extract information from invoice and then the due date is empty, then use the then use the invoice date, otherwise use the due date. Right? Simple formula. So something like this we can use. This will help you to create more of more and more conditions. So you will always get some information when you are extracting information from the invoice. Okay, the tax amount. So there's an invoice total. That's the total amount of invoice. Then you have vendor address, vendor name, customer name and customer address. Okay, so these are the primary field that I want to extract from the invoice that I'm using. So I update all of them. I'm gonna click save. Okay, now we have extracted the information from the invoice. Now we can also save the line item information. So I'm gonna click on new item and create item. We're gonna select the site address. Now the list name is the list name that we just created, the invoice details. Okay, again, same thing. Title, I can use the title of the invoice. I can use the invoice number as the title. That's what I'm gonna use. Okay, and on the parent invoice ID, this is where you can you need to select the actual invoice ID, right? So we're going to click on the enter custom value. And we're going to select the when a file is created. So the ID of the main invoice that we are uploading. So create the relationship. Okay, now the item description. Make sure that you are going into that AI builder section and then finding the description. So here we have line item description. Select that. The moment you're going to select that, the Power Automate will automatically create a loop because there can be more than one line item in, in each invoice. Okay. 
the quantity okay so line item quantity i'm going to select number and the unit price perfect click save so our flow is ready now we just need to test it okay now there is multiple way you can test your flow generally what i prefer that you can always go to test and perform a test this way it will trigger fast and you can see the result very quickly so now what i said i i make this flow in wait condition and as soon as i'm going to drop an invoice here the flow will trigger so i drop this file here and as you can see here the flow trigger the model is working on and trying to extract information awesome the flow completed successfully and as you can see here all the steps are completed now if i go back to my sharepoint and refresh it this is the one that we uploaded okay so now you see here actually i think we made a mistake here so you see the amount due is empty but the tax amount is 457 so let's go back and check our flow and if you go to the update file property in tax amount we are passing the invoice total that's not correct so i'm gonna cancel this here we need to pass the invoice total and this should be the tax amount and now i'm gonna rerun this and see if my information updated correctly and now you can see the information has been updated correctly i wanted to show you this also like for example if by mistake you map the field incorrectly it's not that hard to update you can update and rerun it and everything will be corrected and also if i go to invoice detail i should be able to see all the information also stored as you can see here and all the different title is actually invoice number so you can see by invoice number so this was the quick demonstration of how you can build a system or a solution using power automate to extract information from the invoices now there is more can be done uh, if you have more complex invoice then you need to of course go back from this pre-built model to the document uh, processing model where you can train the model using your custom invoices but overall at the bottom line you can use this method to build your solution thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing to my channel stay tuned for more solutions like these thank you